Have you been thinking of using TikTok to promote your YouTube videos and channel as a whole? If you have been wondering how to publish your YouTube videos on TikTok, in this video, we are going to be looking at all that and much more. Hi, I'm Winston the Solopreneur Warrior and in this video, I'm going to walk you through the best way of promoting your YouTube videos on TikTok at this moment in time. We'll also be looking at some of the things that can get your content shadow banned on the TikTok platform when it comes to posting YouTube videos. But before we get into all that, if this is your first time to this channel and you're interested in growing your channel, driving traffic to your videos while making money on the site as an affiliate marketer, make sure to hit that subscribe button and let's get started. Now, TikTok has experienced a massive growth in the last 12 or so months with over 490 million monthly active users according to SimilarWeb. This presents a great opportunity for video creators on YouTube to get into TikTok and reach a brand new channel audience. For those who are new to TikTok, let me just give you a short walkthrough of the interface. When you open the TikTok app, you'll be immediately taken to the For You feed. Now, the For You feed is like searching for a winning lottery number. You actually have no idea what you are going to see when you open the app. Usually, most TikTok users spend about 75% of their time on the For You page feed. On your For You feed on TikTok, you will see a wide variety of content, some of which is tailored to you and some is basically TikTok testing their algorithm. This page usually includes popular content, brand new content, and content that may soon go viral. Now, next to your For You page is your following feed. Here, you see only the content of TikTok accounts you have chosen to follow. The question now, I guess, is how do you go about posting your YouTube videos on the TikTok platform? Well, for a start, there are only two major ways of linking from TikTok to your YouTube channel. The first way, of course, is by linking from your TikTok bio to your YouTube channel. I've already created a video on how to add clickable links to your TikTok bio. You can find the video by clicking on the link that pops up on the top right of this video. Other than that, the only way to link your YouTube videos to TikTok is by repurposing the video for TikTok consumption together with a call to action. Now, to start repurposing your YouTube videos for TikTok, you definitely need a tool like Vid. Vid is a simple online video editor that adds subtitles to your videos. You can use it to edit your video content and grow your audience online. So, how do you use the Vid video editor to repurpose your channel videos for TikTok? Well, first, you will need to copy the link of the video that you want to post on TikTok and then head over to vid.io. I will be dropping the link to this video editor in the description box below this video. If you don't already have an account yet with vid, you want to go ahead and create one. Now, after creating and logging into your vid account, you want to click on the new project button here at the top and this pop-up will appear. Now, here is where you get all the different features you can use to upload the video you want to edit for TikTok. In the case of this video, I'll just paste in the link of one of my videos on YouTube and hit the enter button for the vid editor to pull the video from the YouTube platform. After uploading the video you want to edit, the next step is adding a video subtitle and you can do that by clicking on the subtitle tab here on the left and from the pop-up that appears, you can select any of these options. In this case, I'll just go with the auto subtitle feature. Next is selecting the language you want the feed tool to dictate and click on the start button. The subtitle feature here on the vid tool will help you turn any audio in the video to a text subtitle and placing the subtitle across the timeline at the correct time code. Now, when all the subtitle has been imported, you see it on the left side here. You also have the option to edit it if you see any misspellings. Now, if you click on the style option here at the top, you'll see different text templates that you can use as your subtitle templates. On the preview screen here, you also see the subtitle of the video, which you can reposition to wherever you see fit. 
Now with the free version of the vid editor, you can create up to 10 minutes long video that is up to 50 megabytes in size. And since TikTok allows only 60 seconds or a minute long video, the first thing you want to do is to cut or trim the video to a minute long video. To do that, simply go to the end of the video timeline here, hover your mouse and you'll see this extreme feature appear. Simply click on it and drag it to a minute long video. You can also use the split feature here at the top to split and delete any unwanted areas of the video. You want to also make sure that the one minute portion of the video you want to use explains what the entire video is all about. Take for example, in the case of my channel videos, I usually let my channel viewers know what my video is all about in the very first few minutes into the video, which is why I'll be using just the first part of this video to promote on TikTok. Now, since the video ratio on TikTok is different from that of YouTube, the next obvious step is changing the video ratio from a landscape video ratio that YouTube has to the story video ratio on TikTok. To do that, click on the settings option on the left side here and from the options that appear, select size. Here you have all the different video size ratios. You want to scroll down and look for the story or TikTok ratio size and click on it. As you can see when I do that, the ratio size of the preview template here changes. Now you want to adjust the video by clicking on any of these dots, dragging the video to fit the new ratio if necessary. You can also change the background color of the video template if you want by using the background color feature here. You can also add some text in the blank area here by clicking on the text option and then on the plus button here. That will bring up this text editor where you can type in say the title of the video, change the font and color if you see fit. You might also want to add a call to action below here, something like check out the link in the bio area because that's the only place TikTok allow creators to link out of the platform, like I already mentioned. You want to also make sure after editing your text to always click and drag the text timeline to fit the length of the video. This will help keep the text on for the entire video. Now, the next two options here on the left are not very necessary in this case, but you can use them if you like. You can use the element option to add any of these elements here. You can add a progress bar if you choose, which is the bar that will show how far your video has been playing. As you can see, as the video plays along, the bar also moves. You can also add sound waves, images and shapes. You can use the square shape element here for example to cover your video towards the end so that you can add a call to action text leading viewers to your channel link in the bio area of your account. The last tab here is the draw option, which will provide you with two different strokes that you can use to draw on your video if you think it's necessary. Once you are happy with your edited video, you can click on the export button to start the rendering process. After your edited video finishes rendering, you can go ahead now and download it and upload it on your TikTok account. Now, it's important to take note here that TikTok will shadow ban any video content that contains a link that will lead people away from their platform except the link on the bio area. And that's simply because they want people to stay on their app so they can make more money. If people are not on their platform, they won't be making any money. So the only way to promote your YouTube videos on the TikTok platform effectively is by repurposing the video as I've already shown you in this video including a call to action that leads viewers to the link in your bio area. Once you start posting to your account, be sure to review your TikTok analytics to find out what's really working and what's not. Having said all that, TikTok is a great growth tool for YouTube. I've been trying it out on my channel by grabbing short clips from my videos 
including a couple of call to action. Usually, people who go from TikTok to your YouTube channel are likely to view your videos for more than just a few seconds. Now, with all that, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video. Thank mm -hmm. you.